And in fact, I actually went to Redding, Ohio, and found out that he comes from extremely humble beginnings. Take a look at what I found in beautiful Redding, Ohio. Hmm. Hidden from the people? Hell no, you can't! Minority leader John Boehner has risen to political and oratorical heights on Capitol Hill. But that trip began on another hill. Maybe Blake, you'd miss the street here. Hill Street in Redding, Ohio. And at the top sits the house he shared with 11 brothers and sisters. So you had 12 people in this house. Yep. Or right. 14, right? Because you had 12 kids. Right, 14. I see the. When, so that. when we, were, we were younger, that addition on the end wasn't there. Mom and Dad slept on a pullout couch. And uh, John, Steve, and I slept in one bedroom. Nancy slept in the other bedroom. Maneuvering in such a big Catholic family is where a large part of his leadership skills come from today. Started right there, you know. Um, you might have wanted something done a certain way, but it wasn't possible because there's too many people. So you had to figure out the best way to do something and then move on with it. Of course, his little sister might just say he was bossy. Make sure you do your homework and sit up straight. We don't want your clean clothes on. Linda still works at the bar the Boehner family used to own, where John mopped floors. Back then, it was named Andy's Cafe after his grandfather. Did you ever get angry at him because he thought he was being too harsh on you? Well, yeah, because he wasn't mom or dad. <laughs> you know, it's like, who are you? A teenager who rode motorcycles and played football even when he was in pain. If he could stand the pain, he could play because it wasn't going to hurt him. John came up to me and says, I want to do it, coach. He says, I think the team, we need to do it to win. From his mother came his independence. Stand up and speak your mind. Yeah, my mother was good at that. He just, you know, she spoke what she thought. She spoke from the heart. And from his father, his charm, and possibly his heart. My dad made a connection with people he's talking to. Him. I think John does the same thing, connect to people. And that's why he's been successful. The beginning of an unlikely climb, which may end with him leading 435 people in a very different house on the hill. 11 That's brothers so and sisters. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, John Boehner, one of 12. Wow. And actually, uh, some other interesting anecdotes, which I found out, is almost every week at 6 in the morning, he would have to go to the family bar on Saturdays and scrub the place down in a process that took four or five hours. And also, because he was the third oldest, he was almost an adjunct parent uh, yeah. for the younger ones. And so it's funny, a lot of them refer to him as this disciplinarian, and he really would go around and say, you have to do your homework. Why are you wearing your clean clothes out there playing in the... Uh, in the dirt and, yeah. and whatnot. Another interesting thing, Joe, is John Boehner took seven years to get his undergraduate degree from Xavier University, yeah. not because he was partying, but because he was working during the day, and it took seven years of night classes to pull that off. Mike, so very, very humble beginnings from a guy yeah, who is, yeah, yeah. maybe the next speaker. Good job.